that was a bit of a shock. But they all avoided you. So fantastic that Miss Daisy Rose is now galloping and trotting with the best of them. There we go. All well in the world. The horses are in again for the night. Isn't that right? How are you, sweetie pie? Yeah. Okay, ladies. You good boy, Pat. Yeah, you're not as fast on your feet as you used to be, are you? You good boy. Oh, my sorting rack is falling off the wall. A sheep is probably itching themselves. Is probably what's happening. They're scratching themselves. Yeah, look. You can see the wool. Up oh, there's wool too. So they have lovely corners for them to itch. Ah, oh, there must be a fox. The smell, the whiff of a fox. Hey Pepperson, how are you old man? You're a good boy. Come on, let's go out of here so that you don't get head-butted by mistake. Come on, dogs. Out of dogs. Come on, pups. And look, the rest of the cleanup crew is waiting for the sheep to finish. Okay. Jumper. Are you going to jump over that one as well? You're jumping all the gates, aren't you, Brindle? Well, they've fair hoovered that up. Now they're licking the troughs clean. Horses are all done. They've had their meal. Miss Daisy Rose is on the cleanup crew. Aren't you, sweetie? You're so pretty, aren't you? Yes. Up. Oh, here's the other, the sheep cleanup crew for the horse food. Everybody's making sure every last nibbly bit has been consumed. Come on. Come on. Come on. is beautiful. Go on. So everybody is learning the whistle. And then it means 
get back in your pen. So it's taken, I don't know, how many nights is this now? Is this four or five nights or three nights? I can't remember. So the O's are remembering and learning the whistle. It's a gentle way to get them to go back into the shed without harassing them, being that they're all in lamb. Good girls. <laughs>